Everybody, how are you doing? My hair is a bloody mess. <laughs> I'm not going to worry about my hair. Um, so it is Saturday. Uh, we did another video, Tana and I, just to let you all know some of the changes that are happening with Sedona. Um, you can look at that, and if you have signed up, you have gotten an email. So if you didn't, you know, contact us. Um, so we have some stuff to talk about. Um, I definitely had some flashes and it's more like powerful energy coming forward. I actually saw, remember the St. Michael I had with the, the sword dragging on the ground? Well, I got like I could see his feet and he's walking, but he's walking over like blackened ground. Like the like we've been scorched with fire. I don't know if that means we're gonna have a lot of fires or if it means this whole thing that's happening to us now is reevaluating us, making us, you know, cause those people going in those churches, I'm not getting a good feeling about it. You know, that poor woman that said she's covered in the blood of Jesus Christ, God love her, but you know, I don't know. It just, it doesn't feel right. It feels like something more is going on. And, um, I posted something on my YouTube community page, which I got from my cousin and it was beautiful. And it was, um, the quiet earth awaits the resurrection. And that's the feeling I had this morning was like a resurrection. Like so many things are getting ready to change. And this energy of what's going on in the United States is going to get a little worse, you guys. And I'm talking about people are struggling and people will be very angry. And it's, it's more than the virus is about even being able to live. I mean, people can't shore up at home with nothing. They have to feed their children. So I'm, I mean, I'm just seeing just tears and crying and we have to take care of each other we have to so i the collective consciousness of what i'm getting is that those places that are got their nose up to this to us and somebody was saying on twitter that her husband was at the grocery store and some woman said that italy had had no cases there it was all fraud it was all fake and so the collective consciousness that I got was that, you know, all of us are awake, but those people are going to get hit hard and they will have to awake. And, um, you know, there's some people who will never awake. So the quiet earth awaits the resurrection. So we are becoming a whole different brand and creed of peoples. And this has happened before. We have gone through our ancestors have gone through many trials, you guys, many plagues, many wars. I lived through Kennedy getting shot, assassinated, that consciousness, doing the um, cover and duck for nuclear bombs, always fearing the nu nuke was going to hit us, through uh, Robert Kennedy dying, Martin Luther King dying, riots, uh, the Vietnam War, girls at my school who had lost their brothers in the war. And uh, just that whole thing. And then the 9-11 happened and it it really shook us up because we had a little bit of time where things were going okay, but it's never going to go okay. I hate to tell you guys this, but we'll always have challenges. That's part of what makes us better people. So even the Trump thing was supposed to happen, you guys. I know it's crazy to say that. And um, 
He has opened that door wide open. And I'm telling you, he is going down. He is going down. So, um, some of you guys wrote me and asked about Tara Reed. Um, she's the one that just recently filed charges, federal child charges against um, uh, Biden. Now, she apparently worked for him in 1993. And what is this, 2020? And she's just now filing. She also filed, I've retweeted it on Twitter, but in 2018, she did a blog post on why liberal Democrats support Vladimir Putin. She loves Putin. So I wouldn't doubt if someone from the inside of Putin's gang says, yeah, file charges. Now, I know people complain he's too touchy-feely, but rape, she never said rape. She just now used the word rape. And it's a shame because people complained that he was, you know, you can see it, but um, he didn't cry for JJ's. You know, like who? And bragged about it. He's a very warm individual. My sister met him. And he was, he did a speech and she was there and she got to meet him post the event. And he was very warm and kind. Um, Tara Reid. So, of course, anybody that's against Biden is going to bring this up. Of course, it doesn't matter because... How many sexual assault charges came up against Trump and are still waiting and they won't allow his DNA for that one girl to prove that she's got sperm from him? They'll prove that, by the way. So, okay. Now, these are my interpretations from my guides that I'm getting. We must remain calm. And we must know that this too shall pass. Tara Reed, tell us about Tara Reed. What's the outcome with that? Yeah, she's struggling to get people's attention, but people are turning away from her. Something else is going to come up that makes her look kind of stupid. She's going to try to sue for money too. I think Bal Putin might be giving her money. Sort of under the table saying, yeah, yeah. Because the Trump establishment is talking to her. This is what you need to do. People are handing. So she's getting paid from this. No matter the outcome. So she needs the money too. So she's making this big thing. You know, no matter the outcome. Apparently they said she gave $5 to Marianne Williamson's campaign. $5. But, um. Yeah, it's reverse. So she is not telling the truth, you guys. This alleged sexual assault or what she's claiming to happen, it's a heartbreak because she'll be proven wrong. And I think the money situation will come up and that will be proven. So, okay. Um, She's getting a lot of people that are standing next to her, but it's only because they wanted to bring down. And when she's no of no use anymore, they walk away, which is sort of sad. Somebody just said to me, down the road, she'll actually tell the truth. He was touchy, and she felt he was inappropriate in her bubble. But he never sexually raped her. Never. That I can see. Okay. Now, so Boris got better, which is good for him. We're glad for him. But let's take a look at Boris in the UK, the Prime Minister of the UK. Tell us about Boris. How's he doing? And somebody wrote me and asked if I could take a look at the United Kingdom. I see Prince Charles is going to be okay. Okay. You know, Diana comes to me very easily. You know, sometimes when you guys ask me to read on certain people, remember, there's free will over there, too. Just because I call on them doesn't mean they're going to, especially very famous people. A lot of them don't want to be bothered. I, I've said this story before. Marilyn Monroe, especially. Okay, Boris, what's going on with you? Boris, how are you doing, guy? How's your physical health? He's excited about that baby. 
He's gotten calls from Trump. He really wants to stay away from Trump. He doesn't trust Trump. Trump makes him look bad. He's slowly but surely regaining strength, you guys. But he's going to be blamed for people getting sick in the UK. They don't have it under control like certain places do. So he'll be judged. They'll look at him and, and they might even decide, just FYI, it's not that it'll go through, but they may try to collectively start up something blaming him, like they have to blame somebody. Um, right now they're happy he's okay, but they're, okay, what? Okay, it's, I'm seeing like um, value. So the money situation is gonna be worse in the UK. The economy is struggling, it was already struggling. So people have to get mad at somebody. This is weird. I just got to tell you what I see. I see in the UK, might be other places around, but it, and even here it's happening. People standing in line for food. I see people standing in line for food. Um, for hours too. And then they get up there and it's all gone. I just saw bread lines. We really are going to have to help. I'm not quite sure what this is, but if all of us can, you know, donate. No, don't give to the Red Cross. They have a fat overhead. But like, you know, make sure that people are, our people are being taken care of. Okay, so I wanted to tell you guys. Well, first, let me see what Diana has to say. Because she was right here. And let me write down what I wanted to tell you guys. It was about Jared. Okay, I'll look back at that. Okay, Diana, we're here. What do you want to say, sweetie? I'm getting a bunch of hits. Hold on. She's like holding um, William's face. Like this beautiful energy. She had troubles in her life. People idolized her too much because she was... She got strong with being treated so badly by this family, but she forgives them all. But she is holding William's face. Um, my son will be king, she just said to me. So this won't be the last uh, monarchy. I wonder if, if Charles, if it's COVID or what's going on with Charles, Diana? My son will be king, she said to me. But in a collective sense, she's also saying he's like a healer. Like he'll get, you know how sometimes they call it when people transfer into other bodies, walk-ins? It's almost like he'll become one of those walk-ins and he ends up with the words and things to say to help others. Go ahead. What do you want me to know about Charles? Okay, well, I, she's telling me Charles is not well. Okay, so go ahead. There's the throne. Um, I think I'm wondering if Charles becomes key, like the the queen finally crosses, and Charles gets becomes king and doesn't hold on to it very long. Did you guys just see that? I just saw something walk, literally. Like, I, I, it's almost like somebody was standing here and walked right by. Ooh, I'm just getting the chills. Okay, so, I don't know who you are. Is this Diana? No. No, Di Diana is like, almost doesn't have that kind of permission yet. Okay, so, um... The economy, it's the economy, and he will help bring peace. But Charles, either he steps down because he's too weak to carry on, and he just decides, you know what? Mom finally died, and I'm 80. <laughs> so <coughs> he might get a feel for it. But if he tries to bring Cam Camilla in, although she, you know, they should have been together, but... 
they played that game with a human life and they will forever suffer because of it. They should have never dragged um, Diana in, you know, for the sake of the monarchy. It ended up doing a lot of damage. And they were all forever jealous about how beautiful and worshipped Diana is. But I do feel like if they, if, because he's a Scorpio. Scorpio men will are chameleons. They can change to whatever they want to change to, to appease somebody. So if she's the one wearing the pants, she says, no, you're going to make me queen. And he does that. It, it, a, a big, there'll be all kinds of reaction. I can see. And by the way, I see bread lines and I see the thing I've been really seeing lately is um, protests. Lots of protests. People just mad. So what happens is, even after we get this virus in check, it's still going to cause a lot of heartache and sadness. And people are like, done. Remember, the new administration is going to come in and they're going to immediately start creating jobs and sort of the new deal. Um, oh, the, the Republicans are going now. I'm very happy to tell you guys that. So what was it you want me to tell everybody about Jared? Jared walks on the path of destruction. Jared and Ivanka both have this sort of a real negative, like almost an evil connection. It's all about them. They could care less about others, just like uh, Trump. Now, I just read something, but I don't know if it's true, but apparently during The Apprentice, well, that guy, Michael, what's his face? Michael Wolf said that, uh, uh, number one, she talks like a sailor. And number two, he, he would make sexual comments that were very inappropriate for a father to say to a child. So we shall see. There's something so off with that family. It reeks. And you know what? They all see it coming. The people that love Trump so much are gathered around him and they keep throwing out adulation. And that's what he's feeding on, like a hungry, hungry, you know. But he also thinks he's king for a day. And he thinks people, the reason he threw Stephen Miller and Jared in there was so, um, they, he really wants them to save him. Because he knows, just like uh, Lindsey Graham told the president, sir, it's not Joe Biden you have to worry about. It's the virus. Isn't that something? The virus is what will bring him down. Okay, so, Jared, why do I keep getting, they're telling me, they're telling me about Jared. He's very weak energetically. Like if, if the powers that be threw him a sword and said, let's battle, he would drop the sword. He's, a, he's a very weak. He does love his children. But... The world will come down on him. Ten of swords, the world will come down on him. Changes are in store as prophesized, okay? Um, and he's definitely trying to gather up money. He's definitely trying. He's creating negative. He's creating, um, oh, he even talks to Putin. He has a, a, a source that goes through Russia. Russia is right on top of the, the White House right now, you guys. Okay, Russia is right on top of the White House. So they're thinking they're part of this. But people are getting sick in Russia. And remember the fire that happened at Chernobyl? Not too, of course, we're not hearing about it. But there's a lot of stuff going on with the economy over there. And I've definitely felt by, uh, by Putin running, like running, because people are like, done. They're like, stop it. People have told me he's beloved, but not if you don't have bread on the table. That's what's happening to Trump. Tell me about Putin. Why do I keep picking up like his time is is coming up? And they will work so hard to try to not let 
I don't see Trump quitting right now. I, I see them working hard, like assuring Trump, we got this. Like they tried to do. See, they, they tarnished Hillary. They tarnished her so bad, people didn't go out to vote. People didn't care. But remember when you start to lose faith, Biden got three times the amount of people in these last primaries than Trump did. Or than Hillary did, sorry. And more than Trump. People are done. Oh, I know what I wanted to tell you guys. Hold on. Let me look at Putin. Let, let me, oh, what was it I was going to tell you guys? I'm looking at Putin. And I wanted to tell you, oh yeah, about voting. I wanted to tell you, well, before I go on about Putin, let me just throw this out at you. So I got this flash. I'll remember the, oops, sorry, the dogs. Remember the table where everybody was sitting and they were talking amongst themselves of how we're going to take care of this Trump character? They, these big wigs, like the big wigs, not the ones that are running financially for Trump, you know, because they thought he was a puppet and they'd get everything they want. But they know that a lot of the people that they depend on, like McConnell, are going. So they're trying to figure out a way to jump ship. So what I was seeing, which was really funny, I saw an actual like picture in my head of the Republicans going in. And we're talking a lot of them that are in the Senate and the Congress and voting for Biden. And then acting like they're not for, for Biden, but they're going to vote for him. So it's like, you know, people go, yeah, he's blah, 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 socialists and all this or whatever. But I see them knowing that Trump is going down as we speak. You guys, Trump energetically is losing his freaking mind. OK, and he's just a blubbering idiot. And I just see them saying, you know what, because I think I told you guys this before. He's going to make some more big, huge mistakes. And we're catching him red handed with his hands in the cookie jar. Even with uh, Jared using uh, 80 million to help his apartments. Took the taxpayer's money to help himself. Oh, he's going, oh, I saw him in trial, you guys. This is a, a, a thing I told you guys last year, I think. I saw him sitting before Congress and before a judge. So Putin. Money is falling out. And the, the energy is struggle. The energy is trying to pick the pieces up and move forward. And it will end his career. He will be ended. I don't know. He will be ended, you guys. It's not right on top, but it's as definitely as the outcome. So um, we might even see things happening around voting time with Putin. Maybe when we know we have a new president, he starts to act out. On the news today, I'll just tell you guys real quick. China was having to block the borders. They're against Russia because they're saying Russia's numbers are so bad with this virus and they're not telling anybody. They're trying to keep it hush-hush. They're acting like, yeah, we got this covered, like Trump does. Only they can manage it because their whole state television only says what they want to say. Fortunately, we've got free speech, free press. So anyway, you guys, I hope you have a great Saturday. Um, and I hope tomorrow, whether you're with family or not, which I, most people won't be, take a time to just breathe. Take some time to breathe and tell them thank you. I know that sounds crazy. It's like I had a horrible, horrible childhood sometimes with the with my family. My dad was very cruel and um, I had some horrible relationships in my life and I wasn't the most wonderful person too. But through these things I learned and I'm going to tell you, when you thank the universe for the well-being you have presently, it gets bigger. Thank them. Breathe at least three deep breaths a day and allow the well-being, be the observer of the thinker, allow well-being to come to you. Because just like that thing that I got says, in the quiet earth, the resurrection begins. And that's what we're going through. But again, my vision, very strong last night, was St. Michael. But this time I don't see his body. I only see his feet. And remember how he drags that sword. But he's walking on parched earth. 
on blackened like a fire. So I don't know if we're having more fires. We also had a very huge volcanic explosion in Indonesia. It's weird they're not talking about it over there. One of the biggest yet in Indonesia. And there's more to come. Remember I told you we're gonna get some significant volcano eruptions and a few significant earthquakes. So it's all part of the process. It's a cleansing out. You go through an earthquake and you're still standing alive, thank it. Thank, say, okay, cool, now I get it. My house is gone, but I'll do a tent in the backyard. Something, okay? All right, you guys, we're gonna be okay, don't you worry. And uh, I'll try to even maybe for Easter Sunday, do a little something, something. Let's check it out. Well, maybe we'll tap into the Christ consciousness and see if they'll be happy to tell us something. Wouldn't that be great? Sometimes I get them, sometimes I don't. It's so powerful though. It's like I'm buzzing. Like I, it, the, the buzz I have to come down from after that is really significant. All right, sweetie, you guys take care. Ciao.